You think you know what a predator is? Forget the lions and tigers of today. Long before any of them, our planet was a proving ground for nature's most terrifying experiments. These were the real monsters, and you're about to meet the 10 deadliest. We're counting down the top 10 most dangerous extinct animals. Kicking off our list at number 10 is a predator that turned the ancient oceans into its personal buffet, Leviathan Melville. Named for the biblical sea monster and the author of Moby Dick, this prehistoric sperm whale was pure nightmare fuel. Living during the Miocene epoch around 9 to 10 million years ago, Leviathan grew up to 57 feet long, about the size of a modern sperm whale. But unlike today's squid eaters, Liviatin was a killer of killers. Its greatest weapon? A mouth packed with the largest biting teeth of any animal ever known. Each tooth could be up to 14 inches long, that's bigger than a two-liter bottle. Its 10-foot-long skull had functional, enamel-coated teeth in both its upper and lower jaws, something modern sperm whales just don't have. Fossil evidence suggests it was an apex predator that hunted other huge marine animals, including whales and seals. Just imagine a creature built like a sperm whale, but with the killer instinct of an orca, all while competing for food with the giant shark, Megalodon. At number 9, we have a beast that makes a grizzly look like a teddy bear. Arctodus, the giant short-faced bear. This monster roamed North America during the Ice Age and was one of the scariest things on two or four legs. Standing up, a large male could stretch to a terrifying 11 feet tall and weigh up to 2,000 pounds, blowing any modern bear out of the water. Its long, slender legs suggest it could move surprisingly fast, possibly hitting speeds around 25 miles per hour. Its name comes from its distinctively short, wide snout, this feature, combined with insane jaw muscles, gave it a bite strong enough to crush bone to get to the nutrient-rich marrow. With its forward-facing eyes giving it great vision, this bear was built to hunt. It preyed on huge mammals like prehistoric horses, bison, and even giant ground sloths. And the scariest part? Arctodus lived alongside early humans, who would have been completely helpless against this one-ton sprinting carnivore. Slicing its way to number eight is a monster from the deep past, a true sea monster from before the dinosaurs. Meet Dunkleosteus, the terror of the Devonian seas some 360 million years ago. This wasn't a shark or a reptile. It was a placoderm, a type of heavily armored fish. And it was huge, growing over 25 feet long. Its head and chest were covered in thick bony plates that acted like a natural suit of armor. But the most horrifying thing about Dunkleosteus was its mouth. It didn't have teeth that had something worse. Its jawbones were sharpened into massive, self-sharpening bony blades that worked like a guillotine. It could snap its mouth open in a fraction of a second, creating a powerful suction that yanked prey inside. The bite that followed was devastating, estimated at around 8,000 pounds of force at its fan tips powerful enough to shear through bone and the armor of other placoderms, which it ate for lunch. Storming in at number seven is a dinosaur that gives the tyrant lizard king a serious run for his money, Giganotosaurus. The name means giant southern lizard, and it's no joke. Discovered in South America, this massive theropod from the late Cretaceous was one of the largest land predators of all time. While T-Rex was famously beefy, Giganotosaurus was likely longer, reaching up to 43 feet from nose to tail. Even if it was a bit more slender than a T-Rex, it was still a multi-ton beast. Its nearly six-foot-long skull was armed with long, serrated, blade-like teeth, perfect for slicing through flesh. Unlike T-Rex and its bone-crushing jaws, Giganotosaurus probably had a different strategy. It delivered deep, gashing wounds that would cause its enormous prey, like the giant sauropod dinosaurs it lived with, to bleed out. 
This was a killer built for speed and slashing, a true giant that ruled its part of the world. For number six, we re heading to the swamps and rivers of the late Cretaceous to meet the terror crocodile, Dinosuchus. This absolute unit, a prehistoric relative of alligators, lived between 75 and 82 million years ago. Growing up to 35 feet long and weighing several tons, it was one of the largest crocodilians to ever exist. Its skull alone could be over five feet long and was filled with thick, spike-like teeth made for gripping and crushing. Fossil evidence, including bite marks on dinosaur bones, proves Dinosuchus wasn't just eating turtles. It was an ambush predator so powerful it could drag large dinosaurs to their doom if they strayed too close to the water. Imagine a creature with a bite force that might have been even stronger than a T-Rex's, lurking just beneath the surface, waiting for one wrong step. It was, without a doubt, the undisputed master of its domain. Prowling into our top five is one of the most famous Ice Age predators, Smilodon the saber-toothed cat. People often call it a saber-toothed tiger, but it wasn't a tiger at all. It was a unique and ferocious branch of the feline family. Roaming the Americas during the Pleistocene, Smilodon was a powerhouse. It was built much more robustly than a modern lion, with incredibly strong forelimbs and a short bob tail. And then there were the teeth. Its signature weapons were those terrifying, 11-inch long serrated canines. But they were surprisingly fragile, so they weren't used for crushing bone. Instead, Smilodon was an ambush specialist. It would use its incredible upper body strength to wrestle huge prey like bison, camels, or even young mammoths to the ground. Once the animal was pinned, Smilodon would deliver a precise, fatal bite to the soft throat severing blood vessels and ending things quickly. It was a specialized killing machine, perfectly adapted for taking down giants. Slithering into number four is a creature from your absolute worst nightmares, Titanoboa. Discovered in the coal mines of Colombia, this serpent lived around 60 million years ago in the hot, swampy jungles that took over after the dinosaurs died. Titanoboa was, quite simply, the largest snake that ever lived. It reached horrifying lengths of up to 50 feet and weighed well over a ton. At its thickest point, its body was as wide as a person's waist. Like a modern anaconda, Titanoboa was a constrictor. It killed its prey by wrapping its immensely powerful coils around them and squeezing with a force of about 400 pounds per square inch. That's like having the entire Brooklyn Bridge laying on you. It was more than enough to crush the life out of the giant crocodiles and lungfish that shared its rivers. For a time, this colossal snake was the apex predator of the post-dinosaur world. Surfacing at number three is a dinosaur that was, in many ways, even scarier than a T-Rex, Spinosaurus. This massive carnivore from the Cretaceous period was one of the largest ever, possibly reaching up to 46 feet long, making it longer than T-Rex. But what really made Spinosaurus so terrifying was its semi-aquatic lifestyle. This was a monster of both land and water. Its long crocodile-like snout was filled with conical teeth, perfect for snatching giant slippery fish. Recent discoveries of dense bones for buoyancy and a powerful paddle-like tail show it was an active, powerful swimmer. Whether it was wading in the shallows like a giant heron or actively hunting prey in deep water, there was nowhere to hide. On top of that, its huge forearms were armed with massive hooked claws. Whether in the river or on the bank, Spinosaurus was a versatile predator that offered no escape. You knew he had to be on this list. Our runner-up at number two is the king himself, Tyrannosaurus rex. For millions of years during the late Cretaceous, T-Rex was the undisputed apex land predator of North America. Reaching about 40 feet long and weighing up to nine tons, T-Rex was a walking mountain of muscle and teeth. 
Its massive, foot-foot-long skull housed the most powerful jaws to ever exist on land. Its bite force was just staggering, estimated at around 8,000 to 12,000 pounds of force enough to literally explode the bones of its prey. Unlike other predators with slicing teeth, T-Rex's thick, banana-sized teeth were made for crushing. It also had excellent binocular vision for hunting and a highly developed sense of smell. With that combination of raw power and keen senses, pretty much nothing was safe from the king. And now, for our number one most dangerous extinct animal of all time, we're diving into the deep. Meet Karcherukul's Megalodon. This wasn't just a shark. It was the largest and most powerful predatory fish in history, roaming the world's oceans from about 23 to 3.6 million years ago. Megalodon grew to lengths of up to 60 feet three times longer than a great white. But its size was just one part of the equation. The real horror was its bite. Megalodon's jaws, wide enough to swallow two adults standing side by side, delivered the most powerful bite of any known animal, an unbelievable 40,000 pounds of force. That's more than three times stronger than a T-Rex's bite. Its seven-inch, serrated teeth were designed to shear through the thick blubber, muscle, and bone of its prey, which included large whales. For millions of years, Megalodon was the undisputed ruler of the seas, a true monster that makes Jaws look like a goldfish. And that's our list of the 10 most dangerous extinct animals. From the sky to the land and deep into the ocean, these creatures were the ultimate predators of their day. Let us know in the comments which of these prehistoric beasts terrifies you the most. If you enjoyed this trip back to a monster's past, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more looks into the most incredible creatures to ever exist. Thanks for watching.